the spinners before that with the rubber band man. Well, let's see. I got my guests inside the studio right now. I'm going to go ahead and tone this down just a little bit. Just a little bit. <laughs> anyway, guys, how you guys all doing? Doing Good, great. Man. How about you? Oh, man, I'm doing amazing. I mean, I don't know about you, but I miss being in a room with people. Yeah. I mean, I, uh, at least with <laughs> interviews. Um, I'm always like working, coming home, working, working, and then just doing this uh, just to cheer me up, basically. Yeah. And uh, it's it's a fun time, but I miss that human connection and having you guys here makes me feel yeah. good. I, I love being here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad I can come back. Oh yeah. Well, the COVID, you know, that whole thing messed up all kinds of stuff. Yeah. All kinds of stuff. In fact, uh, I know uh, Noah. We've been uh, talking uh, for a while actually um on the uh, computer and trying to get your stuff uh played and stuff and then i played uh with sunday night wrap-up which unfortunately i had to close down mostly due to you know no interaction mm -hmm. so unfortunately there was no interaction w with anybody and uh we really didn't have anybody coming to the studio at night so i was like you know what i'm gonna have to shut this down for now yeah but uh i definitely wanted to continue uh doing these interviews and uh I'm really excited that you guys are here. Yeah. Excited to be here. It's enough of me talking. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, guys, uh, so tell, tell me uh, what's going on now. Now, story, tell me about what's uh, w with your, your transition. Because uh, I remember you were going uh, by another name completely. Yes. And then all of a sudden, boom, you dropped your, your, your whole brand. Yeah. And then you're like, I'm rebranding, and you got with another team, and tell me about that. Yeah, so uh, I basically just felt like that name that I was carrying for a long time. I, I'd been cryptic for uh, probably like almost 10 years, mm -hmm. and uh, it just wasn't me anymore. I picked the name when I was 15, 14, you know, so yeah. um, I just wanted to be more true to myself. And so that's kind of where the new name came from, is, is my actual name, Stormy Outside. So uh, I picked it basically to feel more authentic, and the music I was making at the time wasn't authentic to me. Now the music I make is extremely authentic, everything just feels right. Mm -hmm. um, and I was uh, working a lot on Born Broke Die Famous as a whole at the time. Um, things happened I basically shut it down mm -hmm. um, postponed it pretty much uh, but now we are actually revamping Born Broke Die Famous mm -hmm. um, and we, we do still work with my team studios uh, that was the team that I kind of went to yeah. after I uh, postponed Born Broke Die Famous but mm -hmm. we went to my team studios we've been working a lot with them um, Jeff Harper and uh, recording a lot of music with him and uh, yeah um, I'm trying to revamp Born Broke Die Famous is more of a, a collective that is mainly for like promotional like stuff you know mm -hmm. like I want to get some like merchandise and, and, and run it as like a clothing brand instead of just you know a bunch of dudes rapping you know so <laughs> well <laughs> I, I'm, I'm thinking more about the business as aspect of it that's kind of like the dumbed down version of it but yeah <laughs> well uh, i was going to ask you also is that because uh you were always working on other artists i think yeah and i don't think you were pushing yourself as as anything really uh, you were kind of at the side you you would do some projects which were amazing yeah i mean don't get me wrong but I could see that you weren't focused on you. Yeah, okay. yeah. I uh, I definitely took way too much time to try to build up um, a roster of artists, mm -hmm. um, and you know it does. It sometimes it just doesn't work out. You put in a lot of effort and work behind people, and they just don't want the same thing as you. You know, you want to see them succeed, but they don't want to see themselves succeed. So it just boils down to you know uh, just shifting your your motivation in the right direction and after Born Broke Die Famous I shifted it completely to me. Mm -hmm. um, we did a bunch of really big shows like I opened for uh, E-40, Soldier Boy, B.O.B., uh, a bunch of big name artists. Um, because I took that step and actually focused on myself and I wouldn't change it for the world um, because of the experiences that I've like gained from it, you know, so yeah. yeah. So now, now that you're on your own, uh, well, well, not on your own. You know what I mean. Uh, yeah. You're you're starting this uh, now another brand. Is that correct? 
Um, it's <laughs> it's it'll still be born broke die famous, um, but less people, l less. Basically, I'm. I'm not the only one doing everything, okay, you know. Okay, so okay. it's 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 nice. I got Noah, uh, who is is extremely talented. Um, he helps me a lot with my all my stuff. <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, and then we have it's Denny, uh, yeah. extremely talented artist, extremely talented singer. Um, and then yeah, we are working with our boy One uh, K right now, uh, building him up, getting him more comfortable in the booth and okay. and recording music, and that's going to be uh, a fun sight to see when he unveils what he has planned. So I'm we excited. really get to like for me as an artist, Stormy was around uh, when I turned. I was like 15 when I first met him. Yeah, um, and he got to to really help me. Uh, grow into who who I am as an artist, and so it's it's so nice to see that come full circle and see like one of our buddies like One K get into it and be like, I right, like I right, I'm ready. Like show me show me what you guys did, how you how you guys got to where you are at. Yeah, it's so nice to see that full circle. You know where it's like, man, I was I remember when I was him. You know, and like <laughs> he's a lot older than I was at that point, but. Uh, just getting into it and falling in love with the craft and saying, you know, like this is, you know, because this isn't, this isn't a, like this is a dream for us, but yeah. this is a job, you know. Yeah. Yeah. And everything, you know, everything I do throughout the day, and I know Stormy feels the exact same way. Is just like, how can we make uh, money? Exactly. How do how do we <laughs> how do we create our day jobs? Yeah, like, so yeah, so then uh, with that, with you guys focusing on on the money, uh, so are you guys looking at like using uh, Facebook and and YouTube to also generate income or how, how TikTok's are another huge one, yeah. yeah. So yeah. so reels on Facebook and uh, and Instagram, then we got you know TikTok monetized. Um, YouTube is another really really big one, and then the streaming platforms are huge. Mm -hmm. um, just making sure you get that that algorithm boost and get that 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 Spotify money. <laughs> yeah. yeah exactly and then with uh your guys' merchandising um you guys gonna have your own uh what are you guys gonna be working through so um basically what i have planned is um because so I, I see no offense you know he's gonna have his his uh beanie uh collection yeah, you know, yeah. Right, there's no offense right there yeah we're gonna <laughs> we're, we're, we're gonna go crazy with it um Okay. I think I think we're just gonna hit all the stops as many as we can and uh, try to, you know, bring new ideas to the table when it comes to merchandise and and promotion promotional material. You know, um, I think I've done a pretty good job with Born Broke Die Famous in the past, okay. uh, setting myself apart from a lot of other artists, like having different types of stuff like we had shot glasses we had lanyards we had stickers i had a cardboard cut out of myself you know <laughs> so I, I i like to step outside of the box from a lot of people that that do music around here and not try to you know stay confined with the ideas you know i like to i like to branch out and do whatever whatever whatever's gonna be fun really at the end of the day is what i want all right how do you guys like that uh, liquid dead by the way I'm trying Amazing. to get them to sponsor me. <laughs> are you? Are you? Yeah. yeah, I'll shotgun so. a liquid death every day for 40 days straight. Yeah. Oh, if, okay. if they sponsor me. Yeah, cause you, what, what's funny is because uh, I also had, um, oh my goodness, Oscar Goldman in uh, the studio, um, what, two, two, three weeks ago? And uh, we were talking, and he was waiting, and he wanted to have, get some liquid death. Yeah. So, uh, is it mostly like the caffeinated uh, drink that kind of kills you? Or what? I don't. I don't <laughs> do. I don't do caffeine in mine. So this one's the uh, the. Con hey, I'm giving them a free plug. So <laughs> this one's the convicted melon. It's got only 20 calories, no caffeine. Oh, nice. uh, it's just sparkling water, but it, it tastes good. I got one in my car for you if you want one when we're done. Oh, all right, cool. Yeah, this is I'm this is a, a tea. So this is the uh, slaughterberry tea. It's pr their their newest one, and it's really good i mean i i have no complaints i've tried all their products this is great <laughs> Sponsor us. Yeah, i was gonna say that's 30 dollars liquid death we got two plugs <laughs> all right guys so then um so with uh, the money making uh, and everything aside uh how is the studio time going with you guys and now are you guys uh what studio are you guys using? So, I, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let I'll, me let, take I'll this let I'll let another talk. So, um, I've been, you know, I love Jeff. Um, so going there is, is really fun. Um, but then I've been going out to Eugene um, and going to uh, one of our buddies' house, uh, 
there's like four of our friends that, that live there. Yeah. Two of them are videographers, um, and then two of them are artists. And uh, so going there is just always super productive. And I started going over there probably about a year ago now. Okay. And uh, since then, I've got like 20 songs done um, and uh, a whole collab project with them that we've been working on. And it's just every time, it's just so organic. So it's like I go there with no no vision in mind, and I leave yeah. with some some really good polished products, and uh, it's been it's been just so um, like just like I said, the energy is so organic, right? Like yeah. everybody just wants to create, and then on the side we've got you know other people running their businesses, their their videography businesses, and they're like doing behind the scenes shoots, and yeah, you know it's just, it just and everything. it just it like, just is so cool, man, to just see everybody come together with one common goal, and we want all all we want to do is just like win you know yeah, and want to yeah. win with each other yeah. and that's like that's the that's the real cool stuff so shout out dirt squad uh out in eugene yeah they uh it's been nice um to have the access to two studios right now mm -hmm. um dirt squad spaceman behind the engineering he does an incredible job jeff harper at my team does an incredible job um if you guys are looking for studio time if you're listening uh, hit up my team studios or Dirt Squad Productions. They both are crazy uh, with what they do. They, I mean, you'll hear it. You'll hear it when we uh, start playing the music. But um, yeah, <laughs> that's, that's, that's yeah, they, right there, yeah, they, <laughs> they, uh, they are just incredible. And like, um, big shout outs to Dirt Squad for always uh, helping us out. Yeah. Um, and we help them out the same way, like when I book shows and stuff. So it, it, it's a it's a hand in hand kind of thing. Um, but yeah, yeah, we've just been uh, recording a lot. Like got a lot of music coming out this summer. Um, I think it's safe to say, you know, Noah's got a project, Denny's got a project, um, and I know me, Noah, Denny, C Matt of Dirt Squad. We all got something coming out. 1K's together. got something coming too. 1K's got some coming here real soon, so I'm just excited for for all the music that's going to be coming out this summer, and uh, yeah, I I can't wait for you guys to hear it. All right. Well, speaking of here, I got it queued up right now. So, uh, tell me about this track now, the uh, Ghost, because I saw you on Facebook and, and and pushing it and telling everybody this is one of the tracks that uh, you uh, loved. Uh, tell me a little bit about it, though. It is probably the best song I've ever wrote. Uh, <laughs> greatest greatest hit, for sure. It's my ballad. Um, I truly could die happy tomorrow knowing that this song made made it to fruition through the emotions that I felt. Um, it's, it's really just a, a true story, real song. It really um, changed my life, you know, uh, internally and externally. Um, it's probably the craziest song to perform because I I'll perform it and I'll have everybody and I don't even have to sing the song they they just sing it back to me and it's 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 incredible so yeah it's uh it's ghosts um I, it's pretty self-explanatory in the song I'll let the I'll let the art speak for itself All right. um but yeah <laughs> All right, let's do this. KBZ 88.5, 100.7. That's right. I want stormy outside, and we are listening to Ghost. Is radio edit? Just remind me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, Ghost. <laughs> that was good. I love it. Can, uh, can I say something about that song? You oh, go I'm, right so, ahead. I'm so sorry for you interrupting. Right no, no. <laughs> no, watching watching him perform that song uh, is is one of the greatest uh, single greatest experiences of my life, uh, mm -hmm. especially when we're doing stuff here in town um just the 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 crowd reaction to that song yeah you just tell you can tell that that song's something special you it's know and, and uh being in the studio when he made that song uh was one of the greatest experiences as an artist and as a friend that i've ever had just knowing that he was able to get that stuff off of his chest I almost cussed uh <laughs> able to get that stuff off of his chest um it really and, it, and just knowing his situation and what he was feeling at that time i'm so grateful that he was able to make that song and, and get something positive out of the mess that he was in you're gonna make me cry dog. <laughs> <laughs> i got sunglasses on you can't see me cry that, right that, now that was very sweet thank you man. oh man so when was the first time that you ever performed it it was before i released it um i think i did it at my birthday show not last year but the year before mm -hmm. and it was kind of like a i i had been dropping like TikToks 
about like with the song audio and uh, trying to promo it and stuff before the release and I had I was waiting to release it until um, November and uh, yeah I, I performed it and all that had been out was the TikToks and yeah. I was at the show and people were singing the song already nice. like just off the TikToks alone and the song hadn't even been out yet so um, yeah that was that was about a year and a half ago and uh, yeah ever since <laughs> <laughs> nice well it's always a positive thing especially hearing your song uh, being sung by anybody really yeah and uh, knowing that uh, it was even before you even released it or even performed it that's yeah. amazing yeah. and he goes so hard at shows too that he doesn't have a voice at the end and so his oh. his, his ghost is his last song yeah, I just let the... He just holds let, that mic out. I, I let the crowd music. sing it now. Like, they, they know all the words, so it just... It, it works out for me, because, you know, I can save my voice a little bit, and they, you know, get the experience, you know? So it's it's it, it's all it's all in good fun. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I got one more announcement, and then uh, we'll go ahead and we'll talk uh, right after that, and then uh, we'll talk more with Noah as well, and uh, see what he's up to, and... Uh, see what's uh, going on with him. Let's do this. Kimmy Z 80.5, 100.7. All right. So, uh, um, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, so Noah, how you been? Uh, man, I've been great. This has been uh, the most productive year I've ever had uh, music wise. So, um, I'm just, I'm just, I'm living the dream right now, man. So I'm super proud, uh, super happy to be here. Um, just with everything that I went through in the past, past year, man, just grateful to be alive. So, all right, and you want to also let people know um, where do they can listen to your uh, your stuff. And so I'm on every track. platform you can find. Um, so yeah, I'm on Spotify, <coughs> Apple Music, YouTube. Uh, He's on Napster. Napster, Tidal, Bandcamp, <laughs> I think. Um, yeah, Napster. just I'm on I'm on everything. <laughs> LimeWire. <laughs> yeah, I got on you on Wire. USBs, on CDs, on Discord VHSs. Services. Yeah, yeah, everything. <laughs> All right, and all they have to do is look up No Offense, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, cool. And then um, I know your your music is really good because I've been listening to it for, like I said, for years, actually, uh, ever since you started sending me tracks and uh, we were talking back and forth about what you were doing. This is actually before you did joined uh, my team, I believe. Yeah, I joined yeah. my team uh, with Stormy. I was in Born Broke with Stormy. Mm -hmm. um, me and him both kind of needed a step back um and so we we sat down we plotted out our next options together um very grateful um to have a friend like him in this game because uh, i wouldn't be near as close to where i'm at if it wasn't for him so um going through and, and making that um decision to join my team was uh was a big one just because i've been around for broke for most of my most of my music all of my music career really and so yeah. uh leaving um leaving that behind was was hard coming back now to where we're at now and i just get to see this kind of revitalization of it um but yeah going over to to my team and help build up what they've got going on over there mm -hmm. take great pride in that well not only that but i have seen a lot of your videos and stuff that you put up on uh, and i enjoy watching them i'm like damn this guy is seriously talented you got some uh great uh lyrics and uh you really perform very well awesome thank you so really much down. Anyway, um, that being said, I want to talk a little bit about some of your old s songs, and then we're going to go ahead and uh, uh, finish it up with uh, your newest release. And uh, one of the old songs that I got was, uh, one second, Fourth Quarter. Oh, yeah. Remember yeah. that? Fourth that was quarter. The, the first song I released back. That's such a good song. Yeah, why don't you I tell me it. a little bit about that? <laughs> <laughs> you, you didn't like that yeah, one? Yeah, yeah. Oh, man, just, just, just as an artist, man, like, you you, uh, you grow with the, with the songs exactly. Think, so you know? I love I love fourth quarter pressure and what it represents because it, it was a uh, it was a uh, like we're talking about the revitalization of of Born Broke Die Famous. That yeah. was the revitalization of of me. Um, so that was the first song I put out after taking a, a couple year uh, break. Um, I came came down to Salem and I uh, I had a conversation with Stormy and I said, Look, man, I got a whole album worth of music. I'm ready to be back. Uh -huh. And he's and he was like, we'll take it, you know, and, and we got you, you know, so uh, going in, being able to uh, show him what I was working on and how I had grown as an artist. Yeah. Um, yeah, I love that song. Um, but, I mean, I'm just I'm just grateful I'm better now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 
<laughs> All right, well, with, with that being said, we're going to go ahead and play it anyway. It's, not, yeah. it's, not, it's, <laughs> great. it's still a good song. But. <laughs> Let's do this. We're going to pressure with no offense. Let's do this. So, anyway, thank you so much. Uh, I appreciate that song. And uh, like I said, that was uh, one of the first ones that you sent me. Yeah. yeah. And that was just like, all right, cool. So then I went ahead and I started playing it and playing it. And people took to it. So I think that was great. Uh, it is a good song. Yeah, I'll take, I take that back what I said. Uh, <laughs> that song is good. I just, uh, I've just grown so much and, and I found oh, I my know. voice. And so, yeah, uh, I love what that song stands for and what it means to me, um, you know, and, and just, it, just the title of it, man. Like what me and Stormy do, what all of our homies do right now is, is we are, we are, this is the fourth quarter. Like yeah. we have that, we have that pressure. <laughs> We, we have that pressure, pressure on us, you know. Pressure. <laughs> and right. so, exactly. Um, and so it's just, you know. It's not the same. I love what it stands for. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right? <laughs> it's not the same. It's Sorry. not the same. <laughs> oh, man. It, it, it goes. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. ah, shout out Vanilla Ice. Yes. You know? <laughs> really paved the way for us, right. man. <laughs> <laughs> You gotta be uh, real. Be real. All right, guys. So anyway, so Noah, um, tell me about the plates now. Plates was uh, one of the other tracks that you yes, sent me. This one was actually featuring Rizzle music. Yeah, man, making this song was so fun. Um, it was one of those ones that uh, I really wanted to show um, show everybody when I came back that I had that ability um, to to be such a versatile uh, uh, lyricist. Mm -hmm. There's so many crazy, just like, when I when I think about that song, I was sitting there, and a lot of this album was written in a parking lot of a warehouse uh, that I was working at, and just like, when I think about sitting there and writing this one, I was just like, man, this is this is one of them ones, you know? And yeah. then getting the boy Rizzle on, it was just like crazy, man. The day that we shot that music video was one of the best days I've had in music, um, just with the jokes that were flying around, just, <laughs> yeah. you know, me and Rizzle had like, you know, a little roasting session go on, um, and, and it was just like, it was so, I felt so productive, but then again, I felt like we just had f so much fun with it, you know, it was yeah, just, it was nice. a crazy day. That was a great chemistry day, for sure. Um, shooting the music video was really awesome, too, because I got to, uh, to exper experiment with it, you know, and I think, it, I think the music video came out like one of my best music videos that I've, I've shot for him, so, um, yeah, I mean, I'm I'm really happy to hear it again because I haven't heard it in a minute. <laughs> right? Me too. I was just I was trying to think about what, yeah. you know. Yeah, yeah. You got some bars on there, bro. You go crazy. Yeah, you do. All right, let's do this. King Music eighty point five, one hundred point seven. That's right. We're with no offense with plates. Right. <laughs> <laughs> no, I love that song, man. Now, that's a good one too. That's that first album vibes. We're on what? We're gonna be on number four, right? I two mean, two EPs. So this this next project that I'm working on is gonna be my second full length album. Okay. Uh, yeah. yeah. Should I announce that on on, on DJ O's show? You might yeah. as well. You just did. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Do it. We got we got two fans, two furious coming up next. Uh, gonna be dropping sometime around my birthday, uh, late July. So uh, yeah, putting the final touches on it now. Uh, super excited about it. It's just uh, yeah, it's another one of them ones. Nice. Less sad stuff, more bars. It really know? is. It's I, I've been listening to it, um, what we have for it right now, and I'm just like, God, this stuff is crazy. Man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited for it. it it's it's set, I feel like it's setting a bar, you know, for uh -huh. for artists around here. I, I, in my opinion, I think yours and Denny's albums both are gonna set a bar. I think C Mad's album uh, is gonna set a bar, and I think our group project is gonna set the bar even higher than that because um, there's not a lot of people out here that are like uh, collaborating in that way uh -huh. and I think that uh, I think just with all the music that we have coming up I think it's just gonna change a lot of people's like mindsets on you know the industry in o o Oregon at least but I, I would hope that it, it reaches farther than that you know uh, high hopes you know of course that's the best way to do it. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we are uh, we are always testing the waters, you know. <laughs> uh, that's good. That's good. And then, um, so with the album release, when, when is this going to be happening? I'm I'm 
Uh, I haven't decided yet, oh, but I know it's going to be the week of sorry, my birthday. My no, you're totally good. So my birthday is July 25th. Um, we'll just figure out what day works best for um, for promotion, for um, tricking the algorithm and everything that we've been doing correct. Uh, you know, so if my birthday's on like a Thursday, it's probably not going to drop on my birthday, but and, yeah. And are you planning to do it anywhere in particular? Are you going to be doing like a party or anything like that for the release? I love the, the bad space. Uh, you know, so if, they, if they'll have me out again, um, we've got a show coming up for my tour uh, for this last project at the bad space. And... They just do really good business over there, so shout out to Bad Space here in Salem. Yes, sir. The show is April 26th at the Bad Space in Salem, Oregon. It's going to be an insane show. We got Dirt Squad, It's Denny, Figure Eight, Stano, and myself all performing. It's going to be an insane show. You can get tickets online. Uh, just search the Bad Space Pieces Tour. Okay. And then, uh, so the Bad Space is located where now? Uh, off McGillcrest, so uh, Sandy and Brewing. Sandy and Brewing owns the, the the property that it's on. Okay. Um, and so they opened a venue, and it's 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 funny. You drive up to it, and it looks like just an industrial like warehouse kind of thing, or like you know, <coughs> and uh, it's it's really good. Like it, it's like you walk in, and you're like, oh wow, <laughs> like this is a nice place. It's the, one of the best venues I've performed at, if not the best. Yeah, and uh, shout out Matador. He's our sound tech over there. Um, I only work with him when it comes to okay. uh, when I do shows for sound. He always knows exactly what he's doing, so everything sounds crisp when we're performing. All right. Well, I'm gonna have to check that one out then. Yeah. If you guys are gonna do it over there, I'm gonna have to check it out. Yeah. yeah. No, seriously, because I have, for one, I have never been to the Bad Space, because I've just heard it right now from you guys. Yeah. I've heard of, of it, but I've never seen it. Yeah. So no, it's, it cool. is a really nice venue. You should definitely come check it out on the 26th. Yeah, I'll be one of the old guys in there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, so with Pieces, tell me about this, uh, this last track. Oh, where do I start? Uh, this is a... Uh, this is the first song I made um, after getting sober. Um, changed my life. Uh, it was such a down time for me, um, mm -hmm. and just like really, I struggled a lot. Um, it kind of like what we were talking about with Stormy and Ghosts. Mm -hmm. um, it was just you know it was like life or death uh, at that point, and like how how do I you know get out of the uh, the mess that I made and and really making like with every song that i make i feel like it's therapy um but with this song it was just like an epiphany um like just you know get it figured out you know yeah um so making this song um i actually recorded this on my birthday uh last year so it was like very um you know just i didn't celebrate much like just had to get through what i was getting through um, and I'm just so grateful for this song and every other song that's on the Send My Love to Moms project that just came out. Um, yeah, so, uh, you know, I, I was able to, you know, uh, Rod Wave has a, has a song called Rich Off Pain um, with Lil Durk and, uh, and Lil Baby. And I've always used that as a mindset. Like, if you're going to go through something, you might as well, you know, capitalize off it, right? And so, like, making this song and making this whole project... I was like, you know, I'm gonna make something good come out of this, and and I didn't know how well it was gonna be received. Um, it ended up hanging out um, on the charts that day, debuted at 23 on the iTunes uh, hip hop chart. Okay. Stayed around the top 100 uh, for a day or two um, before, you know, finally getting beat off by these uh, these industry goons. <laughs> um, but I, I'm just, I was really proud of the project uh, and the product um, and Pieces is, is my favorite song off of the album just because I feel like you can feel the pain I was going through at that time. Yeah, well that's great because uh, especially for an indie artist to do that. That's amazing. Alright, so let's do this. KMUZ 80.5, 100.7 we're doing Pieces. That's right with no offense. And then we're going to talk a little bit more about uh, him and uh, wrap it all up. Let's do this. KMUZ <laughs> and spinning back in time. Kind of hard to remember that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're definitely talking about something right there. Yeah. <laughs> it's a lot of emotions right there, especially when, when you're sitting around and thinking about it and saying, you know what, I really don't have any friends. Yeah. Especially I got we, brothers, but I ain't got friends, you right? know. So, that, like I said, that's a, that's an amazing song, and I think that's a great. Uh, 
I'm gonna have to follow up and make sure they play it a few more times yeah. uh, during my show. Yeah. No, seriously. Yeah. Hey, um, but uh, it just kind of reminded me of a lot of things that I, I've been dealing with. So it's very good. I, I love it. And uh, tell me a little about more what you're gonna do now. Man, I've been. Uh, I've just been working, man. Um, I'm uh, working more on like the production side of of this next project. Um, the project after Two Fence, Two Furious, I want it to be um, all, all me, you know, I, I rap over everybody else's beats, but but I really want to uh, make and produce my own project, um, which I think uh, I think is also going to be another thing that sets me apart as an artist. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. I'm just super pumped, man. Uh, the trajectory of everything um, has just been, been crazy. Um, probably going to have to make another sad project. You know, <laughs> uh, give the fans what they want. Depress myself a little bit, but um, yeah. So I'm just, I'm just super pumped, man. Um, with everything that we're working on, with um, with the Dirt Squad boys, um, yeah. with with um, just me, Stormy, Danny, and One K by ourselves. You know, just hoping to get everybody in in um, in the in the perfect position to uh, to succeed is is really my main goal right now. All right. Yeah, yeah. You guys want to throw out any more la uh, last shout outs or you have anything else that you want to bring up before uh, we wrap this up? So we got April 19th in Portland at the Star Theater. We're opening for Dizzy Wright, myself and Noah, and our boy Denny. And then we got the Pieces Tour. So it's just three dates. It's here in Salem, April 26th at the Bad Space, May 2nd at Johnny B's in Medford, and then uh, May 4th in Portland at the Waypost. I know uh, Noah just locked in a show with Chris Calico May 1st uh, up in Portland. So, you know, we got at least three shows up in Portland here soon. Right. Um, and then we just locked in a festival in Montana uh, that we're going to be going to out in August. That one's going to be crazy. We've got some uh, album release parties coming up for Noah, CMAD, and Denny's projects, and then our group projects. So we'll have uh, two separate. Um, things going but yeah all right well uh, amazing like i said thank you guys uh, so much for being here i really appreciate it um my phone's blowing up now <laughs> <laughs> it's because i said girthy on the radio yeah that's it. they're like hey wait a minute what are you doing <laughs> anyway guys i like i said i really appreciate you and and i hope you guys will be back uh, again uh, I'd love to have you guys here again, or even, uh, like you said, some of the other artists that you guys are supporting now. Yeah. And uh, we'll see how it goes. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you so much for having us. Yeah, I appreciate it, man. No problem. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and play one more track, and you guys uh, stick around real quick, and then uh, we'll definitely hook up because I want to take some pictures. <laughs> yeah, let's <laughs> Especially go. being here with you guys. This is the first time, so let's do this. Yeah, let's go. KMZ 88.5, 100.7.